Hi guys. Um, I I just want to shed some light on something in regards to. Uh, well, I I needed to make a change of pace about what I've been reporting. Uh, I've been uh, getting some uh, uh, comments that uh, I might be giving out some disinfo uh, and as in Alex Jones style and believe me I don't listen to Alex Jones I know who he is and I try to avoid people like that but um, I want to provide some information in regards to uh, right now um, what is happening what will probably happen uh, I don't have a time frame for it but I want to get started uh, to reporting what I have found in regards to uh, I want to get back to what had happened uh, what happened during the Gulf of Mexico oil spill back in 2010 I think it's going to be very important for a lot of us especially uh, when we need to survive what is going to take place what meant that what may happen uh, that is predicted uh, that well is predicted to happen uh, in the next maybe a few months I don't know like I said I don't have a time frame all I can suggest is that be ready be prepared and um, I'm not going to suggest to anyone to leave their homes that's totally up to you that's your decision um, but all I can say is uh, think of yourself think of your family and think of your lives and uh, that's about basically all I have to say about that. Uh, but what came up in the news uh, just recently is that there were some unexplained bubbles, gas bubbles, that were spotted in the Louisiana waters. And the homes were shifting and cracking as a result uh, of, the, of these mysterious bubbles. Um, now, I have an idea, pretty much an idea of what's what was causing all this now one is uh, due to uh, gas fracking um, uh, gas wells probably old, uh, oil and gas wells uh, that have um, have been um, left and that they are uh, mainly causing the problems in these areas uh, underneath the water and as a result uh, some of these gases can contain methane and methane is a poisonous gas so if it is contaminating water it's it's going to damage your water supply now all this was um, prophesied in the Bible uh, in regards to uh, the bitter waters that will happen uh, the poisoning of waters where uh, man could not drink the waters because they were so bitter and I mean that could have been um, referring to another cause uh, but this is just as dangerous just the same and what uh, is about to occur or what had happened back in 2010 during the Deepwater Horizon disaster uh, with the uh, ancient salt brines that are already in the Gulf of Mexico right now uh, because of I have so many information here that I need to uh, to show you guys. This is a PDF uh, explaining uh, what the uh, what is down there down in the Gulf of Mexico, and uh, it says that mud volcanoes, brine pools, and brine basins are common in the Gulf of Mexico, and it's an economically important hydrocarbon basin containing a late Jurassic age oil and gas that were deposited in a diverse array of uh, structural settings. Now what the part about the Jurassic age I think that's kind of far off because uh, the world is really not that old and uh, so that you have to invest to get that. I'm going by what the Bible says on a creationist viewpoint and uh, what they're saying that the, the world is millions of years old it's not that old really uh, even dinosaurs um, 
that were created by the fallen angels uh, dwell with man during that time way before the flood. I know it's flood is what I'm regarding um, saying here. And uh, since the uplift or with, uh, withdrawal of uh, salt bodies creates uh, di diapirs or basins, respectively, that spawn irregular C4 typography and fault networks that serve as conduits for the rapid transfer of brines, oil, and gas from deep reserves to the overlaying sediments and ultimately into the water column. Now I said a mouthful there and uh, I'm just going to leave it for you guys to investigate this further. I'll just leave the link so you can all can read through this and then investigate some of this um, terminology yourself. But just to give you an idea that there is a salt brine down there in the Gulf of Mexico sea floors. And what does this have to do with what's happening in Louisiana? Well, a whole lot. Because, as you know, and I had mentioned before about the New Madrid fault line. And you've uh, you heard me talk about that. If you haven't viewed my older videos, you can go back and listen to those if you like. Um, and what possibly might happen because back during that time, it was 2011, there were lots of floods occurring in that area at that time. And if any one of you had lived around in the New Madrid fault line, and uh, if you remember some of the floods that were occurring, you probably know what I'm talking about also. Uh, the, many of the homes were evacuated because of a giant sinkhole that was uh, referring, that was occurring in that area, in the in the bio area of Assumption Parish in uh, Louisiana, and here's pictures here. You see this one here that the, there were there was no trees that were voided of the center here. They were all now under the mud of this sinkhole you see here, and you can see uh, a closer view of the trees. They're just absolutely sunk in into the mud. Uh, more trees appeared to be leaning into the sinkhole, as you see here. So this thing is um, is starting to happen. Uh, it might be something to shake some people up now, but this is just um, a message to you all to really um, be alert now, because if this is causing a sinkhole, causing the um, the uh, earth, the top of the earth to, to sink, then there's something else is going to happen or occur later because I also wanted to mention too about uh, Nibiru. Um, I know you're probably sick of hearing that too and I, I've been trying to figure out too about what this roaming planet has to do uh, with uh, our earth the atmosphere, what it's causing in our earth, um, upon our earth, in the earth, in the earth's atmosphere, in regards to the solar flares, uh, the massive earthquakes, uh, floods, and tsunamis. And in my next video, I would like to mention too about some dreams I've been having. And I did have a dream in regards to what I thought it looked like a tsunami, and um, and a flood. Uh, there was another dream where I heard there was a, a flood that, uh, what I can explain that into in in that in that video. But for right now, I need to talk about this because it's really important to make you guys aware, especially people who are living that already know about this in in the Louisiana area, that this is very serious, and it could cause some serious implications in nearby places other than Louisiana and you see here the sinkhole here where all the trees are falling inward so it looks very serious down there and there is a still some more I just have lots of information in regards to this 
that uh, bubbling bayou tremors and slurry areas are a sign of a failing natural gas salt storage uh, caverns. Okay, now the Lolly of Lilith, there's a local story I was trying to find on Jay Rockefeller. Well, you know, he's a nephew of David Rockefeller. Okay, you follow me so far. Well, he's trying to encourage West Virginians to say that well, coal was a thing in the past, and they're trying to get uh, into the natural gas fields, you know what I'm saying? They're investing into that, and oil. And uh, they're bas so basically what they're trying to do is to move on with their agenda about depopulating the earth. So they're going to uh, frock the heck out of us with their grass gas frocking. Uh, and I'm serious about it when I say this. That's what they're trying to do. So this all plays in together. Now you don't have to believe every word that I say, okay? Because like I said, I've been accused of giving out some disinfo or misinfo. But you guys have got to research this yourself, and it's really serious business. And that's why I'm just bringing this to you today. And, uh, you know, just provide the links to all these articles that I found, I found in regards um, to the situation that's going on. There was a new oil well blowout in that area at this time. So I'll just leave this. Uh, yeah, a lot of trouble is happening down there in um, in Louisiana, and I also define this on the methane levels. Is a million times its normal levels near the BP Deepwater oil uh, oil spill. So uh, I'll need to include this also, so you guys can compare notes and all. And let's see. Okay, there's a here's a video here that you all can take a look at about the mysterious bubbles that are going on. You can actually see it, what is going on. And this is an interesting vlog. Uh, I like this. Um, the extension uh, protocol, which is, and it uh, tells about the shifting in, in the bayou down there, about the houses. So this is really a, a very serious matter that is happening right now due to what um, happened back in two, uh, April of 2010 with the BP disaster. And there are still more to come. And what I meant by that, there's still more uh, with what can occur, not just in Louisiana, it could go all the way up through the new Madrid fault line. Uh, if I have to, uh, I'll um, recap again about uh, what can affect us uh, along that area, along the new major fault line, and what can happen. Uh, it can fl still flood the whole area, and and it can go all the way up to the uh, Michigan of uh, the the lakes there in Lake Michigan. Uh, that can also cause a problem too. Uh, I'm getting really close to the end of this video. I'll just provide all links and also like to mention too that um, the countdown by Cap Penny uh, also provided this video about the bubbles from Salt Brown, which he explains it better, a whole lot better than what I would, uh, about what is going on and why the Gulf of Mexico is related to all this and what is happening. So what is occurring and what the elites have done and what B BP has done to the planet, uh, it's time guys for stand up, take notice and do something about it or you probably be left without a home or without a family. I don't know. Um, I know that Jesus said that all these things would come to pass on the earth before his, his coming. And if you don't know him today, please give your life to him today because we're not guaranteed another tomorrow. And we're not guaranteed our next breath. So uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Until next time, I have more, more, more to share. And y'all take care. Bye-bye now.